Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mr. Dancy Pants, and today we are bringing you another tutorial video, this time for the Rosebud Knot. This is an intermediate knot, an early intermediate knot, simply because it's tied with the tail and the tail is folded almost the entire time, so it's a little tricky to get the hang up. But once you have this down, this will be able to be done in 20 seconds if you are well practiced with it. So it's a fun knot for springtime. It works exceptionally well for striped ties, patterned ties, and uh, ties with the tail a different color from the blade. Now, before we begin, I'd like you to go on down and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications every time I release a new video. Hit the like button and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or just want to share your experiences. So let's go ahead and take the vest off, undo the knot, and we'll begin. Now, to start this knot, we're going to start with the blade on our right side, the tail on our left, and we're going to start with the blade about four fingers width above the belt line. We're going to go ahead and get our power crease. We're going to go ahead and fold it in and then fold it back on itself, and we're going to bring that to the center. Now, we're going to take the tail of our uh, tie, and we are going to bring it over the top, up, and over to the left. Now we are going to bring it up again from the back, through the top, over the front, and we're going to bring it over to our right. Now we're going to go ahead and fold the tie here. We're going to fold the tail of the tie right at the top of the knot. And we want to make sure that this fold goes a little bit behind the knot, otherwise it'll try to undo itself where it comes over the top. So you want the start of that fold to actually happen back here in the back. Now, we're with this tie folded and held securely, we're going to bring it down to the right and tightly behind the back over to the left. And we're going to keep that pulled rather snugly and then we're going to bring this up from the left through the top and down behind. Now when this happens you want to make sure that it is still firmly tied or firmly folded right here. We're going to bring this across the front again keeping it pulled fairly taut and then we're going to bring it through the back, up, and over, just like that. And just like the first loop here, we want to make sure that this stays nice and folded tight, and we're going to bring it down again on the side, bring it tightly over the top from the left to the center. So it's a repeating pattern from top to right, behind to left, over the top and through. And then we're going to bring it down very tightly one more time across the waist of the knot and back up like so. Now we don't have enough tail to go around again. So what we're going to do is bring it over the top. And if you do have enough to go over the top once, you can. I usually don't. So I will actually bring it behind the back and just tuck it in right here between the collar button and the second button. I will tuck it in there and just make sure that as I bring this up, it stays close to the top of the button or the, to the top button, the collar button up here. It stays close to that and that holds everything in place. And as you can see, it's kind of woven in on itself, but especially depending on your fabric. I've got a, a linen tie on, a linen, a patterned silk, 
anything with a texture to it that isn't just completely oil slick will hold itself fairly well. Now we're going to bring the collar down. And that tucks in quite nicely. I like this knot with a narrow to medium collar, but it still works just as well on a wide collared shirt as well. So you can see we have two loops on every side with this final one being the locking mechanism. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the rosebud knot, a perfect knot for springtime. Anything that is flower related, if you have a floral print tie, this will work really, really well. Um, if you are going to a flower themed event, this works very well. So make sure you come back tomorrow, check out for a new video, and we will, as always, see you next time. Take care.